Hello, so this is just going to be an explanation of how to manipulate the IAF sequence to get the lowest possible uh, amount of experience for a low level game. Um, so I'll preface this by saying that this isn't this won't work on the Pixel Remaster, and it isn't necessary either. From what I hear, you could just quick save and save scum that. So uh, if you're playing that version, you can just skip the entire video. Um, this works for the SNES version for sure. Uh, I'm not sure about the other versions of the game. So with that in mind, um, I've got the RAM editor open here. Um, this isn't necessary, obviously, to perform the trick. Uh, that would just be plain cheating. But I'm using it to help explain. Essentially, this is just gives us a way to view the game's memory so that we know what's going on. Um, you can see all the values are in hex. Um, so you don't really have to understand hex to uh, be able to follow this video. Basically, um, all you need to know is that each of these bytes, so say this F8 byte, each of these bytes is just a number between 1 and 256. It's just displayed a little bit differently. So, um, with that in mind, uh, out of all of these numbers, these are the only two that matter, the ones that I've got highlighted for now. Um, this one right here is going to be called the index, and this one right here is going to be called the salt. And, uh, again, you don't really need to know what these are in detail. The only thing you need to know is that the combination of index and salt uh, determines what random battle you get. So if the index is F8 and the index and the salt is F7, you'll get the same random encounter every single time with these two values. And the last thing to know is that during the IAF sequence, um, the, the number of ways you have to change these variables are limited. So basically, if you were to plunk down a save state in the middle of the IAF sequence and try to change the following battles, like if you put down a save state after the first three and tried to change the last three, it wouldn't really work because uh, these values wouldn't change. And so you'd get the same sequence of six battles every time. Um, what that means for our purposes is that before we even start the IAF sequence, we need to find a specific uh, index and salt whoops, that will cause us to get six battles with only two enemies. And then uh, once we start the sequence with that specific index and salt, uh, we'll be guaranteed to get the right battles. So we need to find uh, the index and salt that we should set it to, and we also need to figure out how to set it. So with that in mind, there are essentially three ways to change the index and the salt. So right now, you can see they're F8 and F7. Um, so if I were to save the game right now and quit and reset it, you'd see that it wouldn't actually remember that these two values. It would instead set them to something else. So right now, let's load up the game. So you can see now they're being set to 0, 5. So this, this value is essentially every time we reset the game, it'll remember uh, what index and salt, what the index and salt were last time we reset, and it will, uh, it will change the values to something that is 0e in hex or 14 higher than it was last time. So if we reset again, Note that we haven't even saved. Uh, even if you just load the file, it will remember what it was set to last time and uh, adjust it to be 14 higher. So that's method number one. Um, second option we have here to manipulate these values is to uh, kill ourselves in combat, and then uh, it will reload at the last save. And you'll see that it's set, it gets set to F8, F7. If you recall, that's what it was at the start of the video, which means that the value that it loads to after you uh, kill yourself in a fight will be whatever it is when you last saved. The third way to modify them is uh, to, well, getting into a battle itself. So th this probably makes some amount of sense because 
if the battle you didn't change, you'd get the same battle every single time, uh, and that would be no good. So essentially, the vast majority of the time, when you get into an encounter, this value, the index, will increase by 1, and the salt will not change at all. But there is an exception to that. Hang on. Uh, so let's just escape from this fight real quick. So let me change this to FF. So essentially, when uh, we try to increase the index, it will... We're already at the maximum value for a bite, 255. So that means that when we get into a battle, it will overflow to zero. But when that happens, watch the salt. So you can see that it's F7 currently. And it changed to FE. So essentially, when the index overflows, the salt will be increased by 23. And of course, in this case, it just happened to overflow as well. So that's why it uh, got set back to 0E. So those are the three ways that we have to uh, ch change the index and salt. So with all that information in mind, um, we can put everything together and find a way to manipulate it. So first step is to reset our game. Um, and even though we just reset it, I'm just going to plunk down a save. Um, that way we can store uh, the current index and salt. For later. Um, so the first step, obviously normally you wouldn't have the RAM editor open, so you wouldn't know that your index or salt is 2F right now. So I created a little program here um, that I will link to in the description. Uh, I'll upload this to GitHub. And basically what this does is it allows you to, from a sequence of battles, determine what your salt and uh, index are currently set to. So essentially, uh, you're going to get into a series of battles, and then those battles will narrow down what your index and salt could possibly be at the current moment. So when you open up the program, you'll get something like this. You can see if you type in salts right now, uh, any salt is possible because we still haven't run into any encounters. We don't know anything about what the, the current seed is. So let's get into a fight here in Zozo. This is the place where you're going to want to do it. So you can see we're up against the Hades Gigas. Oops. Uh, so you can see we've got three corresponds to that. So just type in three. And now we can see the number of salts that uh, we could possibly have has decreased. And this is because all of the other salts, like say one, um, those salts um, haven't... Uh, the, if, if you had that salt, you would get one of the other encounters. So we're just going to keep uh, fighting, well, running away from a bunch of encounters, and then you can see that the salt will get narrowed down over and over again until we have exactly one salt left, and then then you'll know that's the one that you're looking for. Wow, three in a row. Um, so we go back here. Four in a row. This is a weird seed. Probably only going to take one or two more. Odds are. One. Let's just see how many we have left. It's down to two. These are the only seeds that it could possibly be for this set of encounters. And that'll do it, almost certainly. So our salt is 47. So just as a side note, these numbers are in decimal, so I guess I'll close the calculator by mistake at some point. So let's type in that value, 47, and you can see that corresponds to 2f, which is what it was to start with. So this is how you can figure out uh, what the index and the salt are. And now at this point, now that we know what the index and the salt are, 
Um, we can kill ourselves to set the values back to the index itself because... And now they're back to what they were before. So now we know what they are currently. And with that, you can start the manipulation proper. So the question now is, what exactly are we going to manipulate these values to? And uh, I've already figured out all of that information, so you don't really need to do any searching. Uh, I wrote a small program that uh, puts the output into all of these files. So essentially, if you want no battles with two enemies, if you want the complete opposite, you want the maximum number of VXP, you would want to choose one of the index salt combinations inside this particular file. But obviously, that's not what we want. Uh, if you're doing a regular low-level game, um, you only technically need three encounters with two enemies to have a perfect low-level game with a level 12 Gao. But... Uh, Obviously, it'll be easier to defeat the gauntlet if you have the absolute minimum number of enemies around. So you may want to manipulate it to one of these values anyways. So these ones are the fastest ones to go for if you know what you're doing. Uh, but these ones are the easiest to explain, so I'm going to go with these ones for now. So we want to start by setting the salt. So the... We want to get it, the salt to any of these particular numbers. So we know right now that our salt is 47. Uh, not a very good number for the demo because it's already correct uh, through sheer luck. But if you're going to be... Uh, the way we obviously are going to change this is by resetting every, over and over again. So if... So right now we have the salt of 47, but if we reset once, it will jump up to 61 because it'll add 14. So plus 14, 61. And uh, we may as well do that because it will mean we have to, the, the second part of the manipulation will be a bit shorter. So let's go back to here. We'll reset the game once. So if you're going to reset the game again, you can just do it now. Uh, but we already have the correct value, 3D, which is going to be 61. So once the salt is set, you can now start to get to work on the index. And this is a longer part of the process because now you have to um, run into a bunch of encounters if you recall, uh, running into an encounter will ingest the, the index by one. So the number of encounters we're going to need to run into is going to be um, 113 minus 61. 113 minus 61. So we're going to have to run into 52 encounters. So let's get started on that. Let's just pop that up. So that's one, one encounter. That's two encounters and so on. Um, you can see this number is increasing each time. So let's just skip a few. Uh, so if we wanted to set it to 112, it would be 70. So let's just set the index to 70 manually. We have one more encounter to go. And there we go. That's our last encounter. So now the index is 71, so we can check 71 is 113. That's the index we're looking for. We now have one of the index salt combinations in this list, and that means that if we fight the IAF sequence, we should see uh, six battles in a row. So that's one. This is two. This is three. This 
This is four. five and this is all six so even though the chances of actually getting six battles normally is really low we just got it and with only about like uh it, it'll, it'll take around 20 probably 20 minutes 25 minutes to manipulate this normally so thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments see you around Alright, one last thing I wanted to mention real quick. So, you don't want to be doing all this manipulation again for every single attempt that you take at the IAF sequence. So, after you've got the correct index and salt, you can see I've rewound to this point. You'll want to save your game, and then that way if you die during the IAF sequence, as we've been saying so far, these numbers will just revert back to what they are currently. So, that's no big deal. And even if you want to, like, take a break, let's say uh, you've got something else to do, you've got to turn your console off, you can just uh, reset your game. These values will be changed back to something uh, effectively random, and then uh, you can just walk into a battle, kill yourself, and there you go. You, you're back to the index and salt you want. So that way you only have to do the manipulation once, and you can take as many attempts at the IAF as you'd like.